Hello right bags, it's Joe Plays Games, welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. Today we're taking a look at the TLC patch. If you don't know by now, where have you been? Lots of dinosaurs have got a revamp. They've got re-skins, they've got re-new bodies, new facial um, looks, animations. In this first batch, you've got the dire wolf has undergone a massive change. You've got dire bears have changed. You've got bigfoots have changed. And you've also got the kangaroos and the T-Rexes. Loads of stuff. I'm going to go through every single one, their brand new abilities and what I really feel about them. So starting off with the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot has had a massive change when you take a look at his old boat race. Look at that beautiful face. No longer does it look like someone's just drawn his eyes on with a crayon. He's actually got a proper face now. For too long his face looked way too derpy. I'm loving his hair as well. I mean hair looks, maybe it's always looked that good, but the feet look good, everything looks good. Animations look alright. He's like got little blinking eyes as well. So they've still got their ability to gather fire, but that's what they're mostly really good at doing. But they can obviously chuck you as well. Let's go and see what happens when I mash up this Dilo. So you've got its normal attack there. And you can even kill creatures just by harvesting them. They've also adjusted its throw ability as well. By holding down the LT or the L2 button, depending on what you're using, PlayStation or the Xbox, you can see there I'm lining up my throw. Now he's always been able to throw, but it looks like you can aim a lot better now. It's a lot like the crab. And then just simply let go, and away we go. Now you can see there the DPS is 2057. I'm using this obviously, but when you're utilizing one of the Bigfoots to take on enemies with armor, over time you will degrade their armor. So I want to show you the ability to climb zip lines. Obviously we're on the island, but you can use zip lines anywhere as long as you've got the zip line launcher. So let's quickly go up and see if we can find a high point. Right here might do. Let's see if we can aim one of these and see if it works. And now if we jump on top of him, he should, in theory, be able to get on top. As long as we go to the edge of it and aim at it. And I might have to go right up to the top and see if he dangles from this way. Now it says can't attach here, so I guess you really do need a lot of space for it. And there we go, look, we're attached, we're on it. Now it doesn't look like it's the most smoothest of things, they're just kind of sliding around. Can he go upwards? Yeah, he can, oh, that's pretty cool as well, look at that, he's just bouncing up and down it really quickly actually really surprised how quick it can go it's just sliding down wee and let's go back up the up back up onto it that's pretty cool it goes really quickly as well Comparatively to like a Ravager, I'm sure that's quicker. So there you go that's its ability that's what it can do. Now there is an aberrant version of this as well. But as you can see, you don't need the aberration version. It can do it with any Bigfoot. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, apart from its facial animation that it's had, and it's got new fur. It's a decent addition, I think, but not nothing that's going to excite the world. It can also carry and throw small creatures as well. But overall, I don't think it's too much excitement going on with these guys. Unless you know more about them using them in PvP situations. So here we have our little Skippy, he's got a major facelift going on, the snout has been improved massively and look at their ears, the way they're just like flopping up and down and they've got like a little life of their own, I really like them, it's really cool. As well as the model update, it's obviously got some new animations and it's got some new abilities. Now there's a quite a new things going on with this one, it can carry small dinos and babies in its pouch, so if you go up to it and then press the triangle or the Y button hold it down and then click pick up, it will pick up whatever creature it's available in its vicinity. And there we go, we've got the little dodo in its pouch. <laughs> That's pretty cool, and then we can just jump on top and we can take the dodo with us. Now they've always been fairly quick and have always been able to jump quite high, so if you just press the jump button, it does like a little jump. And you can go fairly decent far with that one, you don't have to do too much. If you aim a little bit higher in the sky, it sometimes does a little bit of a, a bigger jump. But if you hold down the actual A button or the X button, 
and then aim up in the sky. Look at how much higher that is now. It's got a super jump on it. It's a really good move. I really like it. And you can see, look how the way it moves in the water as well. It's bat legs. It's just really cool. The animations are amazing. They're so much better now. I can't wait till they actually visit all the other dinosaurs. Right, so what else it's got? It's got a kickback, which can knock larger dinos. So it might be a bit harder to do it. It's got gathering ability as well. Obviously, it can still gather wood. And whoa, see you later. <laughs> Now that was quite a small one. Let's go and see what it can do with a bigger one. Oh, oh. Oh no, that didn't work so well. That didn't work so well. Help me, Skippy. Help me. Skippy. 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 Right, let's get back on him quick. Right, let's get him out of the water. Hopefully the Baronics can't get me out of the water. Yeah, come, come, come for me, bro. Come for me out of the water. Watch what happens. Oh, he's getting done by a bunch of fish. Let's see what happens when there's like a group of dinosaurs. Whoa, it just flings them. Absolutely flings them. Now, it's still got its normal attack as well. Let's go and see if we can find something to attack. You can see there, it does a fair bit of damage. But look at that, it could really push some of the bigger dinosaurs, even a, a, a trike, that is really good stuff. Oh, okay, this, this might be a challenge. fezzerino has got its own like pretty dangerous kickback, but look how far it's kicking it back. I wonder if you hold it. No, you don't have to hold it or anything. Oh, it's pretty bloody there. Done him, absolutely done him. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting attacked by like everything under the sun. So you can keep them at bay by doing this. This is pretty good. I like this attack. I really do. Now, can I actually take it on a Ferrazino? Yes, you can. Skippy's a beast. Now, obviously, this one is quite high level. It's 150. I spawned it in at. Let's see what happens when I take on an actual Spino with it. Now, this could go really wrong. Now, can it can it kick back a Spino? No. Spino's maybe its limit. Oh, no, it is kind of kicking it back a little bit. It is. So, hopefully, that means it's taking a little bit of less reduced damage. So, what else is going on with it? Well, the characters in the pouch can also get a food re consumption reduction. But I have to be a female Procopticon to have for that to actually happen. Oh, this guy's here. I might have to do a boost jump just to get away. Wee! And you do take a lot less damage when you land. Also, when you've got babies and you're imprinting them, if you put them inside the actual kangaroo, the Procopticon's pouch, they'll get a better imprint quality. Another thing to remember as well is apparently its weight has been increased massively as well. Now, it doesn't look like it's that massive there. I like the little animation, the little skippy one. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty decent. I like the little animation. I don't know if that's an old one or a new one, but it's definitely cool. I can't say I've ever used one of these. Nothing's changed in terms of how you actually tame them. I do believe it's rare flowers. Look at that. That is absolutely nuts how far high it can jump. So there we go. That is skippy. And has it still got the dodo? The... the in this bag. Oh, I can't see. Oh no. Oh no. Take him out, lads. Take him out. Where did he come from? Oh, it looks like the dodo's died. It. Unless he's still in there. No, the dodo's gone. So be careful. Don't get in attacking anyone with a baby in your pouch. You might find you lose it. And I will just show you what it looks like when you're actually in the pouch. Maybe you can get it to move around. Yeah, you can. So if you really wanted to, for some reason, you could literally, you could literally move it around like that. That is nuts. Oh, you can't do orbit cam or anything like that when you're doing that move though. And then just press jump and you're out of his pouch. That's pretty cool though. I like that. There we go, Skippy. Okay, next up we've got this bad boy, the Dire Wolf. Now its muzzle has been improved massively. 
It doesn't look like, again, it's just been drawn on with a nose. I quite like it. I quite like it. The eyes still look a little bit dead to me. And the fur on it, I'm not as impressed as some of the other creatures. It's still got like this very flat looking texture just in front of the ears. But overall, is it better? Um, I guess so, yeah. It's hard to tell soon. I mean, I've just been playing around with some of the older creatures the other day. And you've already forgotten what the older ones look like. Definitely the snout does look a little bit better. But it still looks quite large. I guess that's just the way they are. So what abilities has it got though? Now what you can see from the Dire Wolf is this, look at this, it shows up dead characters nearby. And that's what also it's meant to do, it will show up a player who's got low energy or low health as well. Now it isn't meant to appear on the bar down below, and nothing's really appearing on the right hand side, but that's what we was told, there'd be like a little sign that comes up saying that there's a player enemy nearby on 50% health. But you can see there the dead bodies which is pretty cool. And they're quite big as well, let's show you there's dead bodies around. So what can it do with its pack ability? Let's go and gather the other two that are spawned in. I'll have a little look at what they can do. Now when you've got three die wolves, they become a pack. And then if we get on this one, we should be able to do a little, a little how? And that gives you a little attack buff as well. So it's going to be a minute and a half that you get this attack buff and then it takes a minute and a half to come back. You see there, look, it's going down. It's got like the little signal saying that it's on 50% health. I like it. It's like a nice little yellow sign. And boom. Now it does look like you need maybe your pack around you so you can actually activate the, the pack buff. Now I'm going to run away and hopefully these guys won't attack that creature. Because if I do this now, it should come up if it's under 50% health and show me where he is. You can see in the right hand corner, there's my little buff as well. We've got 30 seconds left. And that's how much time we've got before we can use it again. Now, the sniff ability here is also meant to show you that there's explorer notes nearby. So I kind of want to find one. Oh, and there we go. I've just pressed the right stick in, and look, it's pointed out an explorer note. That is going to be so useful for people who are completionists that want to maybe go and get every single explorer note. And there we go. The die wolf helped me get it. So yeah, it's definitely really cool they've given it some extra added abilities. They did obviously give it a few extra ones just before launch, but now it seems to have a bit more of a complete package. And I'm sure in PvP, if you're hunting people down, maybe you're trying to find someone, it's going to be really good to have that hunter's instinct. You don't have to actually press anything to notice any enemies on low health. Look, you can see it just pops up when you're in range. And obviously the more damaged they are, well, they'll go white when they're dead really orange when they're really close to death and just a pale sort of yellow when they've only lost a little bit of health it's really cool in fact it shows all these dead bodies i like that a lot so there you go the dire wolf great addition let's just have a look and see what its animations like when we level up now i quite like that as well that's pretty cool that's a great animation now it's time to look at the Dire Bear. Now, I really like the Dire Bear. It didn't need too much work. The furs always look pretty good. It says it had a model update. It does look pretty cool, but I did always like them. But its abilities is what we're really after. Now, it's always had that charging run, which gathers speed, so it means you can get around the map really quickly, and it's got a fairly decent stamina. On top of that now, though, it's really, really good for getting honey. On the right-hand corner, you can see that little symbol. It says bee protection, so you have protection from bees. Now it's got two different attacks. The normal bite, and then you've got the swipe, which I'm guessing is what we're going to be utilising to get the honey from bees. On top of the honey that it can gather, it'll also get three times the amount while it's gathering. So bees literally won't be able to hurt you, you're going to be immune to them. They won't be able to knock you off your bear, and they'll target focus the bear instead of the player. So all in all, some good additions for the bear. I really like the fact that it's made it a lot easier to get some honey. 
And also, it's meant to also be able to swim a lot quicker too. Ah, that's really cool. I like that one a lot. That's definitely my favourite animation so far. Just a little wave. It's a really good addition. I'm really pleased with that dire bear. Now on to this bad boy. It's new roar makes creatures poop themselves, literally. So let's go and test it out. So there we go, we've got a little turtle. Oh, it might take a while. And has it pooed itself? Maybe a tiny one. Maybe that's not the best example. Maybe it doesn't work on turtles. Let's try it on this parasaur. And there you go, it poops, stuns it. And then you can make quick, swift work. Now it does that to every creature, barring the turtle apparently, but it does it to humans as well. Though interestingly, it won't work on any creatures above its level. So if you've got a level 150, you're going to be alright, but if it's only like a level 60 and you try and do it on level 70 or 80 creatures or anything above it, it's not going to work. And there you go, you can see it. it's really good, I like that a lot. Obviously, they've kind of stole it from the UE in terms of like how it works. But I definitely think it's a good addition. And that's pretty much it, really. Other than that, there's nothing really been made. There's no other new abilities. It hasn't got new attacks. It's just that poop ability, which is like a semi-stun. It won't stun players continuously. You can't just keep doing it and make players stun. But... I really like it. In terms of how it looks, yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks a lot more ferocious. I reckon the um, the teeth definitely look a little bit more like, like I don't know, like an Allosaurus a little bit. And this one, I just happened to spawn in this one. It's a beautiful mix. It's got like this white and then this like red underbelly. So yeah, definitely not like the most functional in terms of what it can do. But it certainly looks great and I can't wait to see if I can make teammates absolutely cack themselves when I do my poo. The animations of its legs look really cool now as well. It does seem to have just like a much better gait about it. You really feel like you're actually walking with one of these guys. And obviously one of the smaller things is that it's not meant to get stuck on small rocks anymore. It should be able to climb them a lot easier. So them trips to the obelisk or 20 rexes should be a damn sight easier. So there you go, that is it, the T-Rex has been done, we've taken a look at that one too. So there you go, TLC patch 1 completely done, we've taken a look at showcase every single creature that's got to be revamped. I'm Jay Plays Games, hit this up with a like and I'll see you right back soon.